because of the held feeling that uh, most people just want to see what's out in the mainstream anyway and that there isn't any real market for independent film, uh, there was not a lot of enthusiasm for it. And the local people, uh, they had had a festival in Salt Lake that was sort of not about anything. It, there, it had no real point of view to it. So they weren't enthusiastic because it had not really worked. It had been kind of a failure. So we had a difficult time the first couple of years. And then slowly the thing began to take shape and then the festival caught on very quickly. And yes, at that point, about four years in, it was going the fourth year, it made a quantum jump that was so much greater than I could have imagined. For me, it's very simple. It's just the, the vision and the voice of the filmmaker and a diverse view or that independent view of how the world works. Uh, it's as simple as that. It has nothing to do with mainstream films or not mainstream because Sundance supports the filmmaker. We support that pure vision that gets turned into art, gets produced as art. And we try to protect that. And because Hollywood is a business, it very often will, will savage the filmmaker. The filmmaker will come with a very pure idea, a very pure voice, and it will be turned into mixed meat by Hollywood because they're only interested in profit, so therefore they try to reshape it based on their view of what is commercial, and the filmmaker gets very often destroyed. And so we try to protect the filmmaker from that happening so that whatever goes out there is that view of that filmmaker. And the beauty of film is that it reflects the incredible diversity of life and nature, and we want to keep that alive. So for me, that's what independent film is. It is not film that's outside of Hollywood at all. That's that's a shallow definition of independent film. <clears throat> I think film is film in that regard.